So you make games on your Android device or phone with the Android version of Godot and you encounter the problem when trying to export to the Android platform. Unlike the other platforms like HTML5 and Windows, you cannot simply export to Android with your Android device because a PC is needed to use the Android SDK, generate key stores and stuff. So in this video, I will show you a way of exporting to Android platform using only your Android device. Now there's two ways of doing this. The first method is a bit quicker as it does not require you to enter the Godot app at all, but it is not secured as anyone can extract your game APK and have all your code and assets without trouble. The second method which is more secured involves using the Godot Android app and also installing the export template. To start off, you will need the APK editor app and the Godot export template from the Godot website. Rename the Godot template files extension to a .zip, then extract or open the Godot template file and copy out or extract only the Android release .apk file. Once you have extracted the Android release .apk file, we can now move on to the first method of exporting your games to the Android platform. Method 1. Open the APK editor app, click on APK files, then locate the Android release APK file that we just extracted. Click on it. Then in the edit mode, click on full edit. In the decode, most cases you want to use decode partial files. Next, click on the files option. Wait for it to load. Create a new folder called assets. Long hold the assets folder and click on replace. Next, locate where your project is, your game project. Make sure you are in the directory, then click on OK. It will give you a confirmation message, then click on Yes. Wait for it to load and you are done. Click on the spanner icon to build your changes to the APK. Once it's done signing and cleaning up the APK, you can install and test it. If everything works fine as you would expect, you can move on to customizing the APK by changing the launch icon, app name and package name, but I'll explain that at the end. Now like I said, the first method is not secured as your files are not compiled. Anyone who cares can easily have a copy of your game source code. If you are worried about that, then use the second method, which was actually figured out by my buddy Mustard Games. Check his channel out. Method 2. Make sure you already installed the Godot export template. Then in the export options, Create a new preset of any kind so that we can make the export PCK or zip button active. I will be using HTML5, then click on the export PCK or zip, then put it in a folder away from your project. In this case, I will be using the folder I used earlier in the video, the YouTube tutorial. Then I will create another folder in it. I will name it. Then once, that, once that's done, you can set the name of the zip file you want it to be. I'll name it game, then I'll select it to a zip file, then I'll also disable the export with debug mode, then I'll click on save. Once that's done, in your file manager, navigate to where you just exported it, the zip file, then click on it and extract the contents inside. Make sure it's extracted into a separate folder. Once you've extracted the zip into a folder, you want to go back into the APK editor app, click on APK file, then select the Android release.apk, click on full edit, then decode partial files again, just like the first method. Go over to the files option, then create a new folder named assets. long hold the assets folder then click on replace then navigate to where you just extracted that zip file in my case it's the youtube tutorial the zip x then game make sure you're inside the directory then click on ok now click on the confirmation and now that assets folder will be replaced with all your project and you will notice that the GD script files are now GDC which means GD script compiled which cannot be read with a normal text editor click on the build and sign the app and install it and your game should be working now once the game has been tested and you want to publish it you would have to customize the APK file 
In the custom edit edit mode, you can change some options like the launch icon, app name and package name. Do not worry about this message when you try to edit the package name as the template APK is not protected against such edits. Then for more advanced edits like orientations, full screen and extra added permissions, use the XML file edit mode to edit the Android manifest file. Alright, that will be all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or issues, let me know in the comments and like and subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this. Bye.